You know how many times we just don't do something simply because of the fact that we just thought we couldn't do it. And so it didn't even matter whether we could or we couldn't because we never even tried. If you saw the video from last week, uh, I was talking about the fact that I quit my job. And the logical next video is what's next for me. How many times do we get to a point in our lives where we have to reassess where we are and ask ourselves, what's next? Where am I going next? What am I going to do next? How am I going to approach this situation? Where am I going with this? And for me, one of the biggest focal points about what's next for me is that it's for me. You know, a lot of times we don't even realize in life how much we are doing for other people. We work in jobs where we are building somebody else's empire. We uh, do things to please other people. We post on social media, maybe to impress other people or to keep up appearances. And there's so much in life that we do for other people, but we have to ask ourselves, what are we doing that's for us? Now, obviously, I'm not advocating for the extreme of either of these two. I'm not saying don't ever do things for other people. You know, you can become a part of a project that is beautiful, that another person that's leading, and you can add your talent to that. On top of that, you can also be a part of the work that's in your family and the people that's, that you love as well. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you don't wanna be too selfish and only be focusing on yourself. So you have to get to a point though, even though those two things are true, where you ask yourself, what am I doing for me? What have I done lately that has been for my benefit? What have I done lately that is for me, that comes from my heart, that comes from my passions, that comes from something that was within me that I wanna bring out into this world? And I think that for many people, that's a foreign concept. I think that for many people in this world, they are asleep to their dreams. For many people in this world, they have not even thought about something that they want to do for such a long time. And it was a long time ago that they gave up on their dreams. They gave up on believing in something. They gave up on wanting to be somewhere. They gave up on wanting to do something for their family, for themselves, for the world. They stopped dreaming, they stopped trying to dream. So yeah, I wanna share with you what's next for me, but I also want you to be able to take that and apply it to yourself and ask yourself, what's next for you? Well, I'm telling you that what's next for me is that I'm betting on myself. So what do I want you to do? I want you to bet on yourself as well. The reality is, is that I want you to understand that your dreams can't happen by mistake. Your dreams will never come true by mistake. You don't wake up one morning and whoa, all of a sudden, everything that you've ever wanted is before you. You have to make decisions that lead up to your dreams coming true. So what are those decisions that you need to make? What type of things do you need to do to be able to get to what you feel God is calling you to do or what you feel you were put on this earth to do or what you feel your purpose is? 
What are the steps or the decisions that you need to make? Maybe you don't need to quit your job. Maybe you don't need to take a big risk. Maybe you don't have to be there. Maybe you just need to start small. Your dreams can't happen by mistake. And there's nothing wrong with starting small. What's wrong is not starting. And I just, I just stop for a second and I think, how many people are there in this world? How many people are there in this world who have not started their dreams, who they're too afraid to do what they feel they need to do? And, and they're, they're asleep to their dreams. They're completely asleep to their passions. Well, you know what I want to be next for you? You know what I want to be next for me? I want the next thing for us to be a passion project, to be living a life that's fruitful, to be living a life that has meaning, that has fire. You know, they had the whole uh, YOLO craze at one point. And, and I remember back when I was still leading a high school program, that was just the thing. It was like YOLO at one point. Now that's 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 not the, the thing anymore. That Now you're corny if you say that. But at one point, YOLO was everything. It was just, you only live once. And you know what? YOLO. And it was like, there was a negative connotation to that saying, but then also at the same time, there's really depth to what that says. There's depth to what that says. And it, its message is that you only live once. Why aren't you taking risks? You only live once. Why is there nothing next for you? Why is there no next step? Why is there nothing that's developing in your life? And you know what? There are some of you that there are things. You are working on passion projects. And you know what? I applaud you because I think that you are in the minority. So the question I have for you is, how can you take that to another level? How can you bring people into that? How can you make it more of an impact in your community? How can you make it more of an impact to the people that you love, to your family, to the people that surround you? So many times we don't start because we have some type of fear that is connected to that starting. We're afraid of failure. We're afraid of taking that risk. We're afraid that people are going to look at us and think that you're crazy for trying this or, or think that you, you don't know what you're doing or, or think that that's, that's too much or you're doing too much or you're being too much. Or you might be afraid of losing the security that you feel you have currently in your life. But it comes down to this, you only live once. So bet on yourself. So some of you might be asking the question, how do I do that? What do I do? Well, you know, I said part of it. Part of it is the starting. It's just the getting started, beginning, putting something down on paper, taking the first step, even if it's small, doing something that begins the process. And then I think after that, it's committing to that process. You started. I think that starting is the hardest part. I think that starting is what gets people hung up so much. They're like, I need the perfect name. I need the perfect title for this. I need to have all of my ducks in a row. I need to have everything perfectly thought out. I can't make a mistake. I have to think about this. I have to think about that. I don't even know how this is going to fully flesh out. I just know I want to do something in this area. But you know what? I can't start because because I'm not ready. But the reality is, is that sometimes starting is what makes you ready. Somehow, midway through the process, you just figure it out. You just start flowing. You just start, you start growing in such a way. You start to affect people. People start to see what you're doing. It, it becomes a, a, an outpouring of your heart. It becomes an outpouring of your heart. The overflow of your passion starts to impact the people that you're trying to serve, the people that you're trying to reach. 
and whoa, that starts to bless you. That starts to bless your family. And, and that's the life that I want to live. I don't want to waste any more time. I don't want to feel like I'm wasting time. I don't want to feel like I'm living, not doing what I'm passionate about, not doing what, what is time for me to do. And you're going to go through different phases in your life. You're going to go through different times where you're meant to do something during that time. And that was it for me. I was in a place where I was doing what I was called to do and I learned. Then it was time to move. So do you find yourself in a place where either you've realized you've been asleep to your passions or you know that it's time for you to move? Then I want to release you. I want you to have the freedom right now to make the decision to take the first step. What's next for me? What's next for you? It's betting on yourself. It's believing that you can do what you want to do. It's believing that you can take the next step. It's believing that this was made for you. I've been doing so much work this week. I've been uh, working on a website. I got my LLC filed, a life coaching directory set up that I'm gonna be a part of, that I'm working on as well. I'm trying to get the YouTube channel up and running. Shout out to all the subscribers. Um, there's so many things that I'm working on and you know what? It doesn't feel like work. I know it's a cliche, but it doesn't feel like work. It feels amazing. And you know what that does? I believe that that makes me a better person every day. I'm not just happier, I'm more me. I'm more me. I'm more of the goodness inside of me. I'm more of who Eric really is. So I wanna invite you to meet yourself again. As you start to take the steps and as you start to begin moving towards your passion, welcome to meeting yourself again. I hope that you like who you see. Thank you to everybody who has watched this video. I want to invite you to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you're on Instagram, just like and follow. I would love to have you as a part of the community. And if you're on Instagram, I want to invite you to go on over to the YouTube channel and subscribe. It helps me to be able to grow what I'm trying to grow, uh, grow here with the Valley of the Heroic community. I want you to be a part of this process. I want you to be a part of this community and this family. So I invite you to do so. I want you to comment down below if this video blessed you and share it with somebody if you really enjoyed it you know what i will see you guys next friday as per usual hopefully you know i don't want to get ahead of myself here but it's the goal and i want to thank you for watching today god bless you have a great week